Hello everybody, I am that role-playing ginger and we are playing Lies of P. I have been looking forward to this game for a while. Yeah, all the different languages, that's awesome. All sorts of ones. Gotta go back to English though. I am not fluent enough in any other languages. Um, honestly, this looks great to me. It looks like it's coming up pretty well on the recording, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like this. Warning, this icon will appear when the game is auto-saving. That is very beautiful. Be sure to play the latest game for a or latest version for a smooth experience. I have obtained these. I did buy the deluxe edition of the game so that I can pre-order basically have the game early, but I wasn't even able to install it early because of how crazy busy I've been. So I did get these cool items for that. The mischievous puppets clothes, which are hilarious. Press any button. Uh, but from what I've seen, this is a Soulsborn like uh, a Soulsborn like game where it seems like you take place in a it takes place in a in a machine ruled world, uh, which is really cool for the premise of Pinocchio, and it's the idea that uh, machines can't lie. Humans are either hunted or kept underground, from what I've been able to see, and uh, Pinocchio is basically the lion that can walk. He can walk be the, uh, between them. Uh, he's a machine that has the ability to lie, and so I I was told that you can get you get like the ability to uh, additional settings, no benefits claim. I was told you get the ability to choose whether or not you become more machine or more human, which is very interesting. We're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Oh, that thing's beating like a heart. Geppetto is an exceptionally talented and tenacious genius craftsman, all puppet technology and crap, something or another, in honor of the great writer Carlo Collido. Cor Collodi. Can you hear me? I love blue butterflies. It's it's a big thing in Higurashi and or not Higurashi, Umineko. Okay. Oh, we're we're right in it. We're right in it. All right, so. I am a boy. I believe I'm Pinocchio. Can't do. Oh, it's very Soulsborn right there. Don't have my thing. Huh. Whoa! Can't do anything with my right arm, but my left arm has a punch. Is that my stamina bar at the bottom? Or am I wasting my durability on it? I think I'm just wasting like my attack and everything on it, because it's not coming back up. Ah, oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Me too. Mysterious person, are you the fairy from Pinocchio? Am I on a train? Let's see outside. There's nothing going on outside. X is interact. Or anything I can interact with? I don't have a sprint button yet. I seem to have some buttons locked. That's a lot of blood. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Whoa. Use my belt. Okay, so upper belt, lower belt, and then use the item. Uh, using an item from the extra bag. Hold down to activate the extra bag. Uh, our X is to hold down. I uh, hold down X to activate it. And then X plus up, down, left, right is use item. Oh, uh, okay. I'm <laughs> like, uh, some... There we go. I was thinking it's gonna be like some command key. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no. Last resort. Character will die if you use this. Hell no, I don't want to do that. I picked up an item, though. I want to... I would like to be able... There we go. Bag. You obtain the following items. Yep. Those are the DLC stuff. Pulse cell. Grinder. Monod's lamp. Increases brightness upon use. There we go. Turn on the lamp. Awesome. This is the, uh, 
grinder. And then that is my HP recovery, I believe. Open the door. Oh, I want to see these posters. We gotta check these out. Uh, get the most loyal servant. Uh, harvest, harvest, harvel or marvelous puppet show festival. Marvelous puppet show festival. The VN line to all parts of the world, and then something. Lorenzine. Let's get you out of there. Find okay. something that might help. All right. Yeah, got some big old vats. A logo that keeps popping up everywhere. Oh, swords! The are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. One? It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. I would like to take them all, please. Uh, Path of the Cricket is balance, Path of the Bastard is dexterity, and Path of the Sweeper is strength. Okay, so these are my combats, or my starting stats, essentially. Um, this one is the balanced, power and speed. Uh, this is the dexterity-driven one. Uh, we got vitality, vigor, capacity, mo motivity, technique, and advance. So technique must be more dexterity. Vigor is health, uh, or vitality must be health. Vigor is probably endurance. Vigor has to be endurance because the endurance here is, or the stamina here is crazy, crazy high compared to this one. This one's got more HP. Capacity. Um, capacity might be the weight limit, I assume. I would be tempted to go strength, but I don't know. If this is more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls, then a, a being quick is good. And I don't want to choose the balanced one specifically because it's like, I'm, I don't want to be basic. I want to go... Striking enemies' weak spots. Balanced. Quick and nimble combat style. The only thing that's really low here compared to balanced is I get one less vitality, one less capacity, and four less motivity. Which motivity might mean attack. I'll go. I'll go balance just for the playthrough, so that I can then test it out. Because I'm I'm playing this blind. I'm playing this game blind. Oh, now I can actually move. All right. My stamina is up there. Whew, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. All right. I can switch weapon too. Oh, but I only have the one weapon. It's got all the all the buttons on the top right. All right. Let's open this door and see where we're going. I knew we were in a train. Oh, well, we got something down here. And dead passengers. Got dash, dodge. Hold it down at sprints. Very souls. There's the guy right there. We're gonna charge in and get him. Obtain. Fable catalyst. I love the design of these guys. And they're bleeding too, that's crazy. Sawtooth wheel. I can go ahead and turn this off. The Grand Exhibition! Something 29. Is 1629? In Krat. Maximum number of pulse cells. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will gradually charge. Okay. 
So I have those are my those are the Estes flasks I believe, because they're on the top belt. We got a door here. It's likely gonna be a shortcut coming back around. He's got a stop sign. Dim Ergo Fragment, Fable Catalyst. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. Still haven't really played around with my left arm, which is back to the, the bar's back up now, so I don't know how quickly that regenerated it. Did it while I wasn't paying attention. Woo! I got sparkied. That's some craziness right there. Now we're gonna go right because the door's open. Guarding. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, the character will take reduced damage, but will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but it gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. Oh, Bloodborne! If a guard if a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or to put an enemy in a staggerable status. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I got no strings to hold me down to make me friend. To make me friend. You first. Oh, hello, friend! You came up here real quick. Wonder what the, I don't know what the bars beneath my, my HP and stamina are. The blue ones, I don't know what those are for. Ah, uh, look, he got him kicking up his leg like he loves me. It told me to turn on the thing, because I can't see in the dark. But it's not that dark, to be honest. I see you. Kia! Thermite. We got some urinals. A little weird that you were hiding in the in toilet with a stop sign. I hear something. Let's check out some of these items while I have the chance. Uh, full cell grinder. Weapon durability decreases each time you attack weapon enemies with it. Uh, the lamp. We got the last resort. Consumables, Fable Char or Fable Catalyst. Catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. I don't know what Fable is yet. We got Sawtooth Wheel, Cogwheel that is common sight and crot. Can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Uh even worthless items can be useful to collect them. No, oh, don't tell me that. Thermite, thermite bomb, nice. It's a fire bomb. Uh dim ergo fragment. Obtain ergo one hundred. So those are the uh souls. Souls. Okay. It's all coming together. I just gotta remember that this is a Souls like a Souls like game. I wonder how my dodging is once I'm locked on. Like in Bloodborne, we were able to dodge much better. This guy looks like he's much bigger than the others. Am I still am I silent like I was in Bloodborne? Oh, we can backstab. Oh, and it pulls up a thing. Cool. Pulls up a, note, a little notification on their back. Like it changes the lock on symbol if you manage to per, uh, get close enough to the backstab. There's something big and stompy. So, there it is. It's that guy. Ew. What are you doing down there, you jerk? What's up, friend? And exhibition. A dream of becoming a real girl. Herald Theater, Rosa Isabel Street. Love the atmosphere this game is providing. Passenger's note. If anyone finds the snow, get out of the station and run. Uh, be, steer be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. Oh, I like that. I like that we get 
There's gonna be lore. That's good. Okay, I was able to actually just rock up to him as long as I wasn't running, I think. Awesome. Can I get the stop sign? I would love to use a stop sign as a weapon. Ergo is the life. Damn ergo fragment. I would love to be able to just run around this game with a stop sign as a weapon. Nothing over here. Alright, big boys down here. This is where it could get challenging. I should have practiced. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. Hello. There are doors and ladders all through Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. I'd love to unlock this door. Get a Fable Catalyst. Perfect shortcut. Now I know I don't see like a bonfire like thing yet. So if I die, I'm wondering where I'm gonna respawn. But we gotta go take on this big bully now. Make sure there aren't any little guys hiding around. Oh, he noticed me. Hey, friend. Oh. He's got a lot of hit points. He has a lot of hit points. Go ahead and do one of these. Get my health back a little bit. I want to check out what this does. Ooh. It's making my weapon sharper. I don't know what my arm does either. Uh, using Fable Arts. Okay, so this is what the bar is. Uh, use fa use triangle is use blade Fable Arts while guarding. Hand use handle Fable Arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Fable Art uses up Fable slots, and different Fable Arts are a different number of slots. Charge Fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. Oh, that hurts. All right, so now I can actually do a big thing. <laughs> oh, fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy and then hit R1. It can be performed on staggered enemies. Can... Oh, this is awesome. Oh! <laughs> that was so cool! Oh, that's awesome! It used all three bars to use that ability. Okay. So that's, that's like save for bosses, it seems. Because I want you to build that up throughout the level. He was smashing all these people to bits. Ugh. He's really going down on these people. Yuck. Alright. Got a key, though. So that's really cool. I'm wondering if, uh... Like, it had the option to go... Uh, for speedier combat or uh, strength combat. Oh, I do need to see what my... Because I have two of these. I have this. I, I, it'll show me like what they are. Or what their things are. Yeah, we got the blade. Uh, Fable Arts is Storm Slash. Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times. And this one is Increases Attack. So if I were to hold down block and hit the triangle button when that bar is full, I would get a, an attack bonus for overtime. Use the crop key. Oh boy. Well, now we're out in the rain. Alright, sorry, I had to go handle the dogs and everything. I'm back. We are outside now. It is very gloomy, but beautiful. I love it. This is my kind of weather. Krat, Sun or Krat Central Station Plaza, rainy night. What? Stargazer activated. 
Use a Stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina, as well as charging your pulse cells. You will be revived in, at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. I'm gonna go ahead and do it then. This is called a Stargazer. A marvelous device the Stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Do I have enough to level? I do! I have enough to get almost three levels. I'm actually going to uh, use one of the things, because I have these. Use one. Gives me a hundred, and now I should be able to get three levels. Alright, but now the main thing is we have to see what these stats actually do. Uh, vitality is HP and guard regain. Uh, vigor is stamina. Capacity is legion, which I don't know what that is. And weight, motivity, is the dexterity, I guess? Wait. I don't know what the difference between these two are. Motivity and technique, and then advance. Technique, maybe motivity is strength, and technique is dexterity? Both of my weapons, my weapon and my arm are both scaling. The arm scales better with both of these. It looks like, oh no, it scales with advance. I don't know what advance is. Advance does legion. Maybe that's like the magic. Because it looks like it's dealing with that kind of stuff. Not entirely sure. Usually I go with magic builds in some of these games, but for now, I would like to be able to see what they are. But it's not telling me. Each one of these, so there's two, three, and then two again. Two, three, two, so those are both doing the same. There's a boost in all that. Capacity. I want I don't know what Legion is. Let's see. Character info. Uh, I would like to know what these stats mean. Thank you very much. There we go, guide. Nope. Nothing. Alright. Well, I guess I'm going to be flying by the seat of my, my own pants. Vitality will get me some more HP. I'll do one in Vitality. If this is magic, I kind of want to do this one. But I also want to be able to carry things. What I'll do is... For right now, I will do Vitality and... Technique? Symbols aren't showing me much either. Like I know what the first three do, don't know what the last three do. Alright, I'm just gonna do it this way. And hopefully I'm not screwing my own my entire thing. So they have storage too. Do I have anything in the storage yet? Fence parts. Okie dokie. Alright. Uh, okay, so these are my armors, essentially. Alright. Starting to get an idea of it. Let's, can, let's move on. Oh, we got a little ant. We got a little doggies. As we know, Soulsborne dogs are the worst. Oh god. 
God. Got a long wind up on that. Dim Ergo Fragment. Fable Catalyst. Crat Times Issue. Number 183. The Crat Grand ex Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens of the, until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabella Street. Or Isabel Street. Resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the causes of the occurrences... Of, while the cause is unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and v Venigny Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. The task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as, to, as, as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the uh, petrification disease, the, city, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Okay, more story building, or world building. That's pretty cool. So there was a disease going around. There was a disease going around all the people. They developed these puppets, basically, I guess, as a servitude kind of thing. Uh, but the puppets, something went wrong with, like, the main protocol that was governing the puppets' uh, functionality and all that, and they started going on murderous rampages. Doesn't explain why the puppets have blood, unless this is just oil. Not sure, to be perfectly honest with you. Looks like blood to me. Maybe it's some fluid they devised. Oh, I have, a, I have a bar. I can use the handle fable art. Okay, so I think the handle fable arts are lesser. They're not like big bad attacks, they're just little things, and they might take one of the bars. Whereas the blade one is a big thing and takes up a lot. Get the most loyal servant. Sawtoothed wheel. Use a belt item. I have to equip things to belts. Sawtoothed wheel are the, the pebbles of this one. Dude. I don't think so, buddy. Oh, that's so cool. Well, he is not doing well, so I'm gonna. Trying very hard to get in here. Tim Ergo Fragment. Oh, I love the design of these things, though. I love, like, steampunk and clockwork things. Look at this. This is so cool. That is a clockwork Doberman. Volunteers wanted for the Grand Exhibition. There's gonna be something going on here. I'm thinking it's gonna be like a trap triggered. Vivid Ergo Fragment. Alright. 
Got ourselves a nice beach. We love beaches, especially during a storm. Well, that's that's interesting. Oh, I want whatever that is. Oh, we got a big boy. Sign up enemies become red and use a strong attack called Fury Attack. You can't dodge or guard Fury Attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. So the perfect guard must be, like, timed extremely correctly, I would imagine. Get on my attack up. Oh god. Use one of these. Whew. I was hoping that second one would have him. <laughs> I thought that was going to hit me. He looks like the mailman from those old Rankin Boss Christmas movies. Oh, God. You're a tough bastard. Ooh, victory is mine! 174, ergo for that. That was a big, nasty boy. Over there, there's probably more big, nasty boys. So I'm gonna check around here real quick. I need to go to. God, the city is beautiful. I see you on the ground. And I see you have a friend. Oh, and you have a friend, too. Headless friend. He's stuck on the wall. And you have a pupper? Is that a pupper? Yeah, that's a pupper. I'm gonna grab these before that pupper murders me. Do you have an ergo fragment? Thermite. Very nice. Anything up top I should be worried about? Hi, puppy. Come on. The old gentleman. God, they're so janky, it's like hard to get a feel for like their attack patterns because of how like how crooked their movements are, and I love it. It's gonna make you have a learning curve here. when falling down, do a down attack. I don't know how much my fall damage is. There's got to be something coming down here to fight me after I grab this. Benigni's Urgent Repair Tool. Uh, instantly repairs weapon durability. Nice.
Okay, on the bottom right it shows how many it takes for my blade's uh, special ability and how many it takes for my handle's fable ability. Oh god, I got stunned from my own... Good god, that... that... Woo, hey friend! Oh god, you're not dead yet. Fable Catalyst. Sawtooth Wheel. I honestly have no idea where I'm going right now. That's a circus. I see it. I am not ready to fight that thing right now. What I want to do is open up this. Shortcuts are the name of the game in a Soulsborne game. Is that my weapon durability? That bra the gray bar that's right above the weapon? I hope that's not, because if so, I'm getting low. Oh, okay, yeah, came right back here. Nice. I want to run back over to this thing. Then I'm gonna... I might even have enough to level up again. I don't know how much it takes. Level up. I can level up again. I can almost level up twice. Um, HP is always nice. More HP is always nice. Capacity doesn't seem to be much of a problem right now. I haven't been getting too low on my stamina. Damage output does need to be a little increased. My weapon scales at a C with either the, mot the motivity or the technique, so I'm doing good with either one of those. So I think I'm going to do more technique for right now. And then if I have, I think, three or four of the things, I should be able to... I do. I'm going to use... I might as well use all of these. As many levels out of these as I can. I can get two more levels. That's boosting my attack a lot. But I'm also going to choose my HP for right now. Perfect. Alright, so now I have a bigger HP bar. I am full on all three of my thingamabobs. Not as scary as Bloodborne dogs, to be honest. I feel like I have more of a chance against these things. What the? Oh, crap. I got stuck on the wall. God, that rip... Like, it, it's like, I don't want to say... Ric well, ricochet is the only word I can think of. When you bounce off the wall, that, like, throws you out of it. That throws you out of the fight for a little bit. I love that noise. Such creepy, creaking noises. It's wonderful. Oh god. Oh god, I'm just, This is not going well. I need to get better at the blocking, too, so that's something I should practice. Just you. If it's just you, I'm going to practice blocking on you. What's up, friend? A perfect block, please. Okay, yeah. That looked like it was a perfect block. It had like a big flash on it. And I guess that is my weapon's durability. Hmm. 
Alright, so. Gotta get better at the blocking. Gotta get better at... Figuring out enemy patterns. But I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm picking it up. Catalyst. I do want to check out up there. Before I go down to where that circus is. I like that attack, though. Behind you, and just boom, 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 boom! Oh, beautiful. Ooh, that eats the durability up, though. That completely eats the durability up. Oh, there's nothing over there. At least nothing I can get to. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back, I'm going to reset it one more time, and then I'm going to go try and get to that boss. Or that tough enemy, it looks like. And then I'm going to uh, end the episode there. So we're going to try and get to that circus before the next episode. But we'll see how this goes. I do have a full charge on my thingamabob, so that should be good. Oh, we got a lot of guys. Oh, God. Not okay. Not okay. Not okay at all. I was thinking I could just run through like in Bloodborne. Wow! Oh, I just wasted my thing because I was pressing the button that would heal me in Bloodborne. God damn it! Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well, it is what it is. It's a learning process is what this game is. No one's no one's good at Soulsborne games right off the go. Every one of them's gonna knock somebody down. Go around this way first, because there is a guy here and then a guy down there. And we want to make sure that they aren't going to hurt us. What we do that is by getting right up behind him and doing this awesomeness. But that fight is right over here. Whoa! Oh, where the hell did you come from? He followed me from like all the way over there? Did he see me knock the guy down and then come after me? Because if so, he has a long way of getting to me. check out some of the items that I have first, like a Fable Catalyst. Rapidly charges Fable. Okay, well that doesn't help too much, but it helps a little bit. Alright. Let's see. That guy's gonna punch me in the face. Well, oh, there was a boss over here. I knew it! I knew he was going to try and punch me in the face. <laughs> can, I, can I just, like... What happens? He's staggered. Like, what happens if I go through and just actually defeat this thing? I gotta know. Giving me, it gave me all the my bars full, so maybe that's what this is for. Just to help build up your bar between them before the fight. That person to my left isn't doing anything to me. He's like, he's got enough. Oh, okay, okay. I think... Yeah, his health's coming right back up. I think he's only here so I can build up my thing for the fight. Repair a Stargazer. Oh, perfect! You see, I thought this guy was a, a fight. It's the only reason I didn't come forward earlier. Hello there! Hi! Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. 
The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Got our first While merchant. Alone, you could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. You got it, dude. Purchase. Alright, we have Fable Catalyst. He's sold out. We have Throwing Cells, which are large output batteries that can be thrown, doing electricity, electric blitz damage. As an AoE, we have Electric Blitz Abrasive, which... Temporarily imbues... Oh, it's lightning weapons. Nice. Puppets blit... Oh, the starting weapons. I think I have this already, though. Switch display... Where would it say if I have it already? I think this is what I'm, this is what I'm using. Puppet Saber Blade. Great Sword of Fate. I'm gonna buy one of these. And buy one of these, because I want to collect everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple of these. Up to two. I'm gonna buy two of them. I can sell things to them too. Nice. Awesome. Alright, well, I'm gonna actually call it for right now, and we'll continue on forward in the next episode. So thank you all for being here, I'm having fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing where this game goes. I'm interested to find out what the stalkers are, they must be like people who hunt the puppets that have gone crazy, but... I don't know, I don't know how long this puppet apocalypse has been going on for, so... We shall see. But I will see you guys in the next episode, so until then everybody, peace out.